What is up, YouTube? Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys a guide on transmutation for the Clockwork City DLC. So I know some of you are probably like, Dots, Clockwork City's been out for a bit. Plenty of other content creators have made guides on this. Why are you making one on it? It's because, like I've always said, I want my, my channel and my website to be like a one-stop shop that someone brand new coming to the game would be able to come to and see everything, and being that I have not made a guide on this yet, I just want to officially get one up on the channel. So for those of you who do not know, Transmutation was a new system added in the Clockwork City DLC with a new crafting table located in the Brass Fortress, which could be found here. So this is where the Brass Fortress is. You go up more and the Clockwork City is down here. So this is about where we are and this is the symbol for the Transmutation Station. So we see it right here. You simply click E and now you have all of your weapons and armor in your bag that are available for transmutation. Now, what exactly is transmutation? Transmutation, simply put, is changing the trait on a weapon. So as you can see, I have a Blade of the Bloody Tusk in my bank that is sharpened. If I, for example, wanted to change that to Nernhode, I would simply put the Blade of the Bloody Tusk in the transmutation table. I would need to have 50 transmute crystals, and I would need to have a trait researched for this weapon so it's a one-handed axe so i would need to have a trait research for one-handed axe no you do not need the material you do not need the material for the to, to for like when you craft a weapon with a trait to transmute you only need to have the 50 transmutation crystals which moves into the next point of the video how do you obtain these transmutation crystals there's a whole bunch of different ways to obtain these they will be listed here on the right. So you can either defeat bosses in veteran dungeons, veteran trials, doing veteran undaunted pledges, completing your first daily random dungeon, rewards of the worthy in PvP, and then rewards from holiday events. Now, the best way that I know of to get transmutation crystals is from the rewards of the worthy in PvP. You are guaranteed for your first rewards of the worthy to have an uncracked geode in it which will give you transmutation crystals so what i normally do is i'll try to rack up the rewards of the worthy in my mailbox do not add them into your into one character okay leave them in your mailbox because when you put when you take it out of the mail and put it on a character you cannot deposit it in the bank so basically what you do is like i said it's the first open of the rewards of the worthy per day for your character that gets you your transmutation crystals so for example, if I was PvPing on my Dragon Knight and I got three rewards of the worthy, I would take one out of the mail on my Dragon Knight. I'd open it, get the uncracked geode. I'd log on to my Magblade, take it out of the mailbox, open it, get an uncracked geode. I'd log on to like my level 11 um, warden. I would take it out of the mail, get the uncracked geode. And the good thing is, is that it is, a, I believe that the transmutation crystals are account wide. So, you know, it's not like I have 34 on my Dragon Knight and zero on my Nightblade. It's a, it's a currency stored on your character and are stored on your account. And yeah, simply put, you're just able to access it from anyone. I believe that's the case. If that's not the case, then it's just, you know, depositing it into the bank and withdrawing it onto another character. But I believe they are account wide. But that is it, guys, for this for this video. Very simple, very straight to the point. Wanted to make this really short and sweet. So I appreciate you stop by and watch. If you like this guide and all of the stuff I've been doing here, I'd appreciate if you left a like on the video. And then for some more content like this, more ESO guides, videos, and streams, please hit that sub button as well as hit the little bell next to it to always stay up to date with what I do here on YouTube. So thank you again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.